What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another tips and tricks video for Code Vein. Now in this video, we're going to be talking a little bit about trading valuables, trading items, and trading points. So if you guys haven't noticed yet, when you're at base, you can talk to each person or each friend that you've gained and you will be able to trade valuables with them or at least receive items or gifts from them. Now each player does have some unique items. For example, you can get Louis sword, you can get Yakumo's two-handed sword, etc, etc. Now in addition to this, there are some transformations. Maybe you may have been wondering like, hey, how do I specifically get the Prometheus Chrome? Well, you can get that from Louis and it costs 10 trading points. Now, in order to gain trading points, what you need to do is go ahead and give these NPCs valuables and these valuables will actually increase their trading points. Now, with that being said, each valuable has certain value to certain NPCs. So you can't just give everything to them and expect to get five points from them. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna tell you guys the most important items to each one that allow you to gain five points for each valuable that you're giving to them. All right, now you may be asking at this point, well, how do I get valuables besides them showing up in my mailbox? or besides me actually finding them as I'm going through each level. Now, as you're going through each level, you will have a chance to pick up old world materials. And these old world materials are from the great collapse that are used as a currency for trading. So what you're gonna wanna do is after you've beaten Oliver Collins, you will see that Shang will show up at the crossroads. Shang is gonna be your main person that you're going to trade these old world materials for trade valuables. So if you talk to Shang and you go to trade valuables, you will see that you're able to acquire valuables. And then this is where you can buy all of them so like I said before each valuable has certain trading points depending on which NPC that you give it to for example if you give Yakumo or Jack aged brandy it will give them five trading points which is the max that you can get from an item okay so as far as Louis goes the ones that are going to give you five points each are going to be the tomato Odin sandwich the faded comics and the yellowed book for Mia, you're going to have the aromatic herbs and the fragrant tea. For Yakumo, it's going to be the boutique steak, the aged brandy, and the bulgarily doll. So for Jack, you're going to have the sushi tacos, the bulgarily doll, aged brandy, and antique coin. For Rin, you have the retro game, the board game, and the bulgarily doll as well. Ava is going to be tomato odin sandwich, vegetable seeds, flower seeds, and geisha noodles. Or geisha noodles, sorry if I mispronounce that. For Coco, you're going to be able to give her sushi tacos, chocolate garlic flakes, aromatic herbs, powerful spices, and tomato odin sandwich, all of which are going to give her five points each. For Davis, you have the classic camera, the Bulgarily doll, the antique LP record, and the chocolate garlic flakes. And then for EO, you have the Curious Novelty, Local Pendant, and Tomato Odin Sandwich. So hopefully that helps you guys if you're trying to get those end game items from each NPC. Maybe it's their weapon, maybe it's a specific chrome so you can do a specific transform. Either way, you don't want to be like me and then at the end of the game, you just start giving any valuables to them and you're wondering why you only have 39 points out of 50 and you've given them like 10 different things. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys and I want to say thank you to Fextra Life for putting together this wonderful guide. If you guys need information on anything else, they always have wonderful guides on RPGs, especially Code Vein. Now with that being said, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that notification bell to get daily videos. In addition to that, let's go for five likes on the video. I think that's pretty simple, pretty easy goal to get. And if you guys have any video suggestions or any comments, any questions, go ahead and just post them below and I will respond. Now, again, thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you for supporting the channel and I'll see you in the next video.